the cool thing about swimming is that we haven't hit the ceiling and I don't think you know, anybody will for quite a while now. And every year something amazing is gonna happen. So you just kinda gotta keep your eye out for it and then hope that I'm one of those guys that's gonna do something incredible. If I win the 50, that means I had a successful meet. If I place top three, that means I qualify myself for an individual race at Pan Pax. It's also used as next year's selection for 2015 World Championships in Kazan. So this is a ways out for us to qualify. We're pretty much on autopilot from the walkout to the end of the race. And I think that's where the execution of the perfect race is gonna occur. It's, it's not gonna be me thinking about every single stroke and how my kick is fitting into my stroke. It's gonna be, you know, from repetition through the entire year and, and making those very, very natural. A lot of times there's a whole flood of emotions that go in from like, did I do it to, uh, wow, like what did my teammate do? Because you know, I'm certainly planning on being in that final with some of my best friends. I'd love to see those guys get on a team with me. Right before the race, I'm very much in, like, I guess in the zone. You have a good idea of what's going on on either side of you, but beyond that, you don't really know. You're kind of just going off the field. It's going to be Anthony Urban. Right after the race, the first thing you want to do is look up at the at the board. Based off of how you feel, how you move, we're pretty in tune with our bodies, and for our particular races, we'll have a generally pretty good idea. Sunday night, just ran the 50. I got second, put myself in a spot to contend in Australia as well. Wasn't a great swim, to be honest. We're gonna take that, look at the analytics from that, see where we need to go for the next week or so. So, you know, I'm looking forward to getting a lot more rest and trying to get faster in, in a week. When you have moments like this where you don't have peak performance, I think I learn more as a coach than in the times where they do have peak performance. Being just a little bit off here provides me with the content that I need going forward that will help him in 15, that will help him in 16 going into Rio. People are excited about swimming now, and with that comes a little bit more attention. After this particular event, we're gonna go on to Pampax. After that, the focus for the national team is gonna be shifted to 2015 Kazan, Russia. And then the gear is gonna shift to the Olympic trials. Nathan Adrian, gold medalist from the 2012 Olympics. Follow me on teamusa.org.